Hello, this is Terry with Blood Outdoors and welcome to another Slingshot Monday Madness video. I'm going to be doing something today I've been wanting to do for a while and that is make a knockdown target. Now I've had spinners before and you guys know how I love to shoot tin cans and also coffee cups. But uh, after I went to AIM a couple of weeks ago, they had these nice knockdown targets. And I thought to myself, well, let's try to make a knockdown target, just scrounging up parts and pieces that I have at home. And I think I, I've come up with something that might work. So I'm gonna make a prototype of it today, go out and shoot, see how it works. And if it works, then I might make a series of 10 of them and then uh, do some shooting. So uh, let me show you what I've got in terms of parts and pieces for a knockdown target. Okay, here's what I've got to work with. First of all, I got some Kydex here. And um, the reason I chose Kydex, I think you'll see in a little bit. I've got a bolt. I've got some metal strapping wire or straps, some metal straps. And then I've got uh, some uh, small nuts and bolts. Then I've got some little wood screws. So I think that's all I need to make a prototype. So let's get busy. Okay, this is my prototype. Try not to judge me. I just love to make things like this with just scrounging up parts around the house. And uh, one thing that I noted with this that I do like about it so far is that I was concerned on how I was gonna keep it up. After I knock it over, how was I gonna keep it up? And I can keep it up by just putting tension on the Kydex by tightening up this nut, as you saw in the earlier video there. So I can shoot it, knock it over. When it gets loose, just tighten it up. That'll put more tension on the Kydex. The only question I've got about this entire prototype about holding up is the Kydex itself. 
Now, will a Kydex survive being shot by 3H inch steel ammo? That's the question. And if so, how long will it hold up? And also, you saw me, you know, shape the Kydex with a heat gun, and this is gonna be out in the sun. So um, I think it's gotta be hotter than 100 degrees to start uh, shaping Kydex. So I hope that's true because the temperature outside now is about 100 degrees. So uh, maybe a little bit less. So the next thing to do is take this bad boy out to the range, shoot it, and let's see what happens. Well, I've got my prototype set up. I'm gonna be shooting from about 10 meters. And by the way, the leather target is eight millimeters wide. Um, I'm gonna be using a Scout. So uh, probably take around 10 shots, see how it holds up. So let's get shooting. Let's go check the target out. Okay, I think I hit the target about 10 times. Uh, every time I've reset it, it's uh, the tension has always been there. I can still tighten the nut up a little bit if I want to. And uh, tension's good. I did hit the Kydex, I think, twice and I don't even see where I hit it at. Um, the leather target uh, stayed on a Kydex really nice. So really no issue. I'm, I'm surprised um, about it and pleasantly surprised. Okay, well, my prototype held up really well. And um, like I was just telling you, the tension, all I had to do was just pull it up and stood it up not an issue at all so i feel comfortable enough now to go ahead and make nine more and what i'm going to do with those nine is that probably mount them on a on a two by four or a one by two or something like that and then put uh, 10 of them on that and have something knocked down left to right and right to left and put them up here so uh not sure if that's going to be in this video or not but uh, i'll be back and let you know if that's what I'm gonna do. So here's the decision, and the decision is to go ahead and make them. So that's what I'm going to do. So my prototype worked so well, and I got out there late yesterday afternoon as the sun was setting, and I took, you know, 40, 50, 60 shots at it, and it held up just great, no problem at all. So I'm going to mount these on a two by four, I know that's probably a little overkill, but I don't want the bore to warp any. And uh, after a day out in the sun and a two by four is not gonna really warp that much.
didn't expect that, but it was very enjoyable and it did work pretty good. Uh, I think I hit all 10 of them on my first 12 or 13 shots, I don't know. But as you could see, I could hit one of the targets or several of the targets and they would go down and reset themselves. <laughs> some wouldn't go all the way down and some would go uh, all the way back and all the way forward. And the ones that didn't go all the way down, I reshot those. So uh, I'm going to have to do this in a time lapse just to kind of speed things up. But uh, it was fun. And I think I really all I've got to do is do some adjustments on the, on the tension nuts for each one of these. Or think of a way, once I knock it over, that the um, target itself will lock into place. So uh, if I do something like that, uh, I'll just make a short on that. But uh, these are fun to shoot, and if you hadn't ever made any knockdown targets or even thought about it, it's a good little project. You may not have all the parts and pieces that I have lying around, but you could be creative and, and use a lot of different things in your garage, in your shed, or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and quit rambling and uh, conclude this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.